Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The window is the basic element of the Windows operating system. You perform all of your activities in different windows within the application. Windows that appear within the desktop will most often share a similar structure and layout. In this lesson, we will examine the features and functions that are commonly found within a standard desktop window. Desktop windows appear within a frame. At the top of the frame is the title bar. The title bar will usually display the name of the window or its contents. You also use the title bar to control the size and placement of the window within your desktop environment. One of the most basic functions of the title bar is resizing windows. You can have several windows open at the same time in Windows, and to efficiently multitask on your computer, it's important for you to control the size and placement of the windows on your desktop. A window can be opened either in maximized mode, restore mode, or minimized mode. If you look at the right end of the title bar in an open desktop window, you will see a three button group. These buttons are, from left to right, Minimize, Maximize or Restore, and Close. You can click the Minimize button that appears in the title bar of an open window to send the window down to the Windows taskbar that appears at the bottom of the desktop. Although you can no longer see the content of the window, it is still open and active. You may choose to minimize a window to access information within a different window that is behind the one that you minimized. Minimizing a window will temporarily get it out of your way. To bring the window back, click on the entry for the window within the Windows taskbar. That will bring it back on screen exactly as it was when you minimized it. In Windows 7, when you minimize folders within your computer system, such as the Documents folder, the folders will often be grouped within the library's icon shown within the Windows taskbar. You can click on this icon within the Windows taskbar to then open a small pop-up window that shows you the opened system folders. You can then click on the one you wish to view again in order to restore the selected folders on screen display. Now maximizing a window means making it large enough to fill your entire computer screen. If your window does not fill the entire screen, then simply click the middle button of the three that is located at the right end of the title bar within that window to maximize its display. This allows you to view more of the information within an opened window. Many users like to work in this mode as it has the most available room for each window. However, if you have multiple windows open and they are all maximized, then you cannot view them simultaneously. To switch between multiple maximized windows, simply click on the Windows taskbar icon for the window that you want to view. That will bring that window to the forefront of the stack of opened windows above any other opened windows which then recede behind it. Now doing this is called toggling between opened windows and is a technique that's also necessary to master if you need to work with more than one window at a time. If your window is already maximized, clicking the middle button of the three at the right end of the title bar will instead change the window to its restore mode. The restore window is a smaller window that allows you to change its size and position within the desktop area. When the window is in restore mode, you can place your mouse pointer over the border of the window's frame and wait until it turns into a double pointed arrow. When you see this icon appear, you can click and drag with the mouse to change the size of the window. You can also click and drag directly in the middle of the title bar of a window to move the whole window to a different area within the desktop. This mode is useful when you have files that you wish to copy from one window to another. The Restore Window mode allows you to place opened windows side by side to make the drag and drop copying easier. Now the last button at the right end of the title bar has a big X in it. This is the Close button and clicking it will close the opened window.
Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.